Hello, Mr. Barton here. And in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can actually assign your scheme of work to your students. Now, there are two possible times you probably want to do this. The first is right at the start. If you've adopted a scheme of work, the default one from AQA, OCR, Ed Excel, and you're perfectly happy with the order of the topics and the length of them and so on, then you can just assign it straight away. Or secondly, and probably most likely, is that you'll have been through the videos in this series and you'll have changed the order and the name and the length of the topics. It'll have probably taken you a while and now finally you've got it looking exactly how you want it and you're ready to assign them to your students. Well, let me tell you now, the good times are almost here. This next step is pretty straightforward and then have yourself a well-earned cup of tea, okay? So imagine uh, you've got your year 10 foundation scheme exactly how you want it and now you want to assign it to your classes. So make sure you've got the scheme that you're interested in selected. That'll give you an opportunity just to have a quick flick through it. And then you want to click on this button here with the little tick. And that enables you to assign classes. So um, I've already got my classes set up. So for example, Hufflepuff, I want to assign it to them. Give that a click. It tells me that there are 10 students. And I might also want to assign it to Gryffindor. Give that a click. And it tells me that there are 22 students there, 10 in Hufflepuff, and 32 students in total will be assigned this module. Now that's important, that, because what we're, we're not assigning here the foundation scheme of work. We're assigning the year 10 foundation scheme of work. We assign modules, not schemes of work. So these two classes, Hufflepuff and Gryffindor, will be year 10 classes who will be assigned this. Okay. Now what's also quite nice is if you want to uh, create a brand new class, perhaps you haven't set up a class here. You want to create a class that's going to be assigned this scheme of work. You can do that all in this one page. And also, if you've got students who for whatever reason have not joined Hufflepuff, and um, perhaps they've forgotten to register themselves or something like that, then you can give them that join code. They will do automatically join Hufflepuff when they register for the site and be signed up for the scheme of work. So once you've done that, click assign and you're done and dusted. Um, then you might want to move on to the year 11 scheme of work. Have, give it a click, have a look at it, check you're happy, click the assign, and then for example, old Slytherin, may, you may want to assign this to them, and it just works exactly the same way. Go through your schemes of work, assigning them to the classes that you want them to be assigned to. And that literally is it. Now, the other thing I should point out is you can only assign schemes of work to classes that you yourself are assigned to. Now, if you're head of department, you might want to make sure you're assigned to loads of different classes. Or, and this is what I'm going to come on to in a later video, you may just want to build a scheme of work for your class, assign it to your class, and then share it with your colleagues. Okay? But if you did want to make sure that you were assigned to all different classes, I'll just show you how to do that very quickly, because it's a question I get asked quite a lot. From anywhere in the Diagnostic Questions website, if you click on um, the little symbol top left-hand corner that opens up this menu and click on Classes, that will give you uh, take you to your teacher dashboard page and if you scroll down that and go to classes it'll show you all your classes and it'll show you which teachers are assigned to them and if you want to change that at any stage just click edit so all the teachers that are assigned to those classes will have the power to um, assign schemes of work uh, to them okay so i hope that makes sense and as i say that is your hard work done at that stage what will happen now is your students will automatically be assigned the quizzes and all you'll need to do is just keep a track on their progress and intervene accordingly congratulations well done